Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm Tab with TNT Premier Landscape. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be going over my 2023 lawn care setup and some of the equipment we're running. A um, little bit about us. Um, we are um, 17 year old owner and operators. We're still in high school. Um, we got another year of high school after this year. Um, so we're gonna be, we're juniors right now going into the senior year. Um, this is about our second or third season um, doing this by ourselves. Um, and yeah, like I said, we're 17 years old, owner operator. It's me and my twin brother. Um, we have a cut, occasionally a couple other people come and help us out. Um, but it's mainly us two all the time. Um, and everything in this video we've paid for ourselves. Um, paid cash on everything. And yeah, so let's get into the video. This is um, our 2023 lawn care setup and just some of the equipment we have. And um, yeah, should be a quick and easy video. So hope you enjoy it. Alrighty, so starting over here, we have our uh, 77 by 16 utility trailer. Um, this thing's been great. This is about a year old, actually, I think a year old to today. Um, I added these little wood extensions there so we can easily add mulch and everything. Put some D-rings on right there um, so we can strap down stuff easily. Um, let's go to the blowers here. These are our um, Echo PB9010Ts. Um, these things are great. This is the newest one we have. We actually have one of the older 8010Ts. Um, these are all fit in with the Equipment Defender um, blower racks. These are very nice because they're nice and lockable. Um, as we move back down here, this is just a northern tool and equipment box that I added. Um, in here, just some mesh tarps and some ISO tunes and whatnot. This thing's great to keep on the side here so you don't have to have anything in the truck bed um, that you can easily get. Back here on the back is a water cooler rack and a water cooler. This is just a water cooler from Home Depot tied in with the um, ratchet strap with a equipment defender um, water cooler rack. And as we go over to the other side here, we have some sure cans. This is a 2.2 gallon and then a 5 gallon both in the equipment defender racks. Um, I love these gas cans and the racks themselves. Um, they're very great. And then come back down to the front of the truck. This would be the passenger side again. So um, this is the Black Diamond um, 0.95 best line. Um, again, also paired in the um, equipment defender line spool rack. So come over here. We have the um, Equipment Defender um, trimmer racks again. These are the best racks um, in the game. They're fully lockable and adjustable. This is the three tier. They have one, two, and um, four tiers. We have the Echo 2620s in here and then some dry wraps, but these are the Echo 2620s in there. Dry wraps are good because we are not doing much, um, anything with the trimmers, so we're just going to keep those on protect the trimmers a little bit from the mud and water that'll splash up from the truck um, as you can see right here this is our uh, mount for our billy goat debris loader um, i custom built this this is just some angle iron and some 16 gauge square tubing don't recommend the square tubing but um, you could replace the square tubing with some angle iron um, that would make it even better but this is a great little rack uh, but yeah, so let's move on to the mowers now. This is a um, John Deere Z920M um, Has the advanced chute. This is a 54 inch deck um, Added a little suspension seat on there Let's get up here and see how many hours it has. I think this one's just at 500 um, So we're at 440 actually this mower's fantastic um, one thing we did just add are the Michelin twheels these are the airless wheels. Um, curious to try these out this year. Pretty expensive, but um, I'm hoping they're going to be worth it. Um, like I said, this is the John Deere 920M. This has the Kawasaki FX 730V, so this is a 23 and a half horse. Um, absolutely perfect motor, no complaints at all. Adjustable rops, we keep them in the down position, but these fold halfway and all the way up. Um, but yeah, this is the John Deere Z 920M. Moving back here, this is the John Deere 915E. This one has about 175 hours, I think. Um, 173. This thing's been a workhorse. 
This has a 25 horsepower Kohler with the um, 54 inch deck as well. Comfort Glide. Haven't got to add a advanced chute here yet, but going to. Thinking about adding wheels. These are just the normal pneumatic wheels or the aired wheels, I guess. Um, they still work great and everything, but thinking about adding some wheels as well. Um, like you can see the fat one. I don't know if I said, but this one does have the advanced chute to block off the discharge. Um, but yeah, that is the two, tra two mowers we have on the trailer. We have another one I'm gonna put in the, in the video as well. It's a John Deere 636 um, and it's a 36 inch stand on by John Deere. But yeah, this is the trailer setup for this year. Um, that, that'll that probably be our main big mower, um, 54 mower as well. Uh, that'll be the main one we keep on and then either swap that one out with that one when we're doing the big yards or that'll have the John Deere 36 on whenever we're doing the smaller residential yards. This will be perfect setup, I believe. Um, but yeah, so the truck here, this is a 2003 Chevy 2500 HD. This has the 60 gas. This thing has been a workhorse. Um, got us a toolbox up here. Um, this is like a six and a half foot bed or something, but it's very short with the toolbox, but you can add a lot in here. Just got some trash from the job we've been doing this morning, but um, this will all come out. And, um, we just got some dead plants and stuff over here, but yeah, this thing has been a workhorse. No complaints yet. Um, one thing I do not like is this door, ha this uh, tailgate handle snapped off. So now you have to get in there with something like that and hit the side to get it to open. But other than that, like I said, this is the Chevy 2500 HD. Um, we did add some lettering on it, the phone number, and then we added the company name here on the door. Um, we wanted to do the whole side, but we couldn't without taking this trim off. Um, I mean, it's easy to do. I just wasn't up for it. And I think this looks good. It's clean. You can see it from a distance. Um, and it gives um, just a representation on who we are and what company is at the property. Uh, but yeah, this has the 60 gas. This is a 2003 Chevy 2500. Has about 173 ish miles, I'm pretty sure. Um, very clean for its age. Uh, I could stand to get some new headlights, but it's a work truck, so I'm not um, too worried about it. Got some strobes here. Um, I don't know what brand those are, but those are good for whenever we're um, needing them. Um, but yeah, these are just the standard. Um, everything's stock on this truck besides um, like the lettering and whatnot. So here's some other things we have. Um, it's just spare trailer tire. These are actually the, the wheels that we took off for the John Deere to put on the wheels. Um, this is our 18 horsepower Billy Goat. Um, the breeze loader, leaf loader, this thing's amazing. Um, this thing's made us so much money and everything. I mean, it thing's perfect. We got that last fall. That was our first year with it. Can't wait to use it some more this coming up fall. But this is our John Deere um, Quick Track 636M. Um, this one has 37 hours. Um, this is basically a right stander, um, just painted green. Another thing we got here is our Xmark push mower. We used this thing a lot last year because we didn't have this 36, but this year is going to be um, what we mainly use instead of the push mower. Uh, we got some spare wheelbarrow, wheelbarrows, um, Super Jack, Ballard, Catch Pro. Don't recommend either of those, but um, they're both good. Uh, just got us a spare chainsaw. I don't know what that one is. I think it's like a 271 or something. Um, some spindle covers and plastic flaps for the gears. Hedge trimmer. This is the Echo HC 2020 or something. It's very great. I love that thing. This is our Echo Pro Attach series. This is the PAS 2620 with all our spare attachments up here. This is the Edger pole saw. Um, um, trimmer with a blade on it for cutting down little saplings and whatnot. Edge trimmer. Um, and we got us a spare blower. This is the PB9010T. Um, pole saw for PAS. Up there, just some spare gas cans, oil pan. Got some preen, some tune up kits, and whatnot. Um, ladder in here. And so we got in here. Yep, so here's the a view of it from the back. Um, do a quick little once over. Sure cans, Kremlin Defender rack, John Deere um, 54, John Deere 54, um, three 
Echo 2620s um, in the equipment defender racks. Um, leaf loader rack or mount to mount the leaf loader. Um, Echo PV9010, Echo PV8010 in the equipment defender racks. Um, just a toolbox and a five, ga or a five gallon um, cooler deal for water and whatnot. But yeah, here it is. Can't wait to, to get out there and start cutting this year. I'm going hard in my back to the wall. I was like, Dad, just plumbing and faking. There's no way they matching me off. Who really gonna see me if we getting busy and we seeing rap when we ball? I won't even practice. I go triple platinum and they saying that was a wall.